I'm here with Lord Darcy, Institute of Global Health Innovation, Imperial College. Hello. Hi. What are you addressing this year at the World Health Congress Middle East? Well, I participated in a session earlier on innovation in healthcare, uh, which was a very interesting session because it brought in examples from across the globe uh, in coming up with new innovative ways of delivering healthcare. Mm -hmm. And uh, um, why is it so important to have such an event? Well, it's important because there's a sharing of knowledge. Uh, there's a huge appetite for innovation at the moment because all the challenges facing healthcare systems. Uh, demographics is one of them, obviously. Uh, changing disease pattern, chronic disease, uh, is quite a big burden of disease now globally. Uh, mm -hmm. It's certainly catching up infectious disease, which was the historically dominated the scene. Uh, and also the financial uh, and the economic situation at, at crisis at the moment. And a lot of healthcare systems are looking for more cost-effective ways of delivering better quality healthcare and also improving access. So if you bring all of these together, uh, I think innovation is the way to achieve that. The question is how, and this was a learning, a learning exercise between all of those who were there contributing to the debate. What are the main challenges that your organization is facing in the healthcare industry? Well, there are many challenges. I think the economic austerity is the one and the most latest challenge, which is a, quite a substantial challenge. But on the other hand, as I said, the demand is increasing substantially. And the nature of disease, we're, I mean, in the European countries, there is the aging population. Uh, and that raises some very important questions, which is the, it's not just living longer years. Are we living a better quality longer long years? Yes. Uh, issues about chronic disease management and a lot of the old acute illnesses like cancer, uh, cardiac disease have now become chronic long-term conditions. So patients are living longer with, uh, with diseases that historically were considered as fatal but they're, they're living with that illness and it's, we're describing it more of a condition, long-term condition rather than an illness. Uh, so all of these are really challenging uh, systems which were built four, five, six decades ago uh, based on what was needed then. So change is always more difficult in established healthcare systems. And what are some of the innovations uh, your organization brings to the healthcare industry? Well, I work in Imperial College, well recognized globally for its innovation, and that's why our Institute of Global Health is called Institute of Global Health Innovation. We come up with innovative solutions to current problems and that ranges from innovations in technology, innovations in design, which has a huge impact, and that is my own personal interest. Uh, innovations in health policy, uh, which is another area that I have an interest in, and Imperial is wealth of innovators. Innovation in climate change, and innovation in energy, uh, and uh, it's well known, certainly globally, for its contributions. And how was 2011? in terms of uh, 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 an, an entire year, in terms of innovations for the Imperial College? Well, strong, and we're getting even stronger. Despite uh, the economy and the despite challenges? Despite the economy. The universities, you have to remember, uh, its intellectual capital is always there. And we are very, very well endowed at Imperial. Uh, it has a very, very strong uh, human capital. Uh, it has some of the best academics in the world and the contribution it's made in, making in discovery and then translating that discovery into patient benefit uh, has remained significant. And, and I think with the economic climate, interesting question to ask because the funders are now focusing more of putting their money in places that they know then they're going to get certainly the return and on the results. investment they're making and the results, yes. Mm -hmm. um, Continued innovation is vital in healthcare yeah. and healthcare delivery. What are the main obstacles to innovations in the developed world? Well, change. How do you achieve change? It's always challenging. Uh, change in the clinical community. Uh, uh, mindset is another issue, which is uh, traditions, and culture. traditions, cultures uh, are always the biggest challenge to, to overcome. And. Uh, and we're seeing some healthcare systems changing the incentive structures, redesigning some of their uh, major players in a system, like the payer system being redesigned as we speak in the UK. Uh, the provider reform, which has been going on for about a decade or more, will continue, uh, where hospitals you've his historically used to be part of the public sector now are being freed up as being uh, 
uh, organizations for, for not essentially independent but not for profit making. Mm. So we're seeing a lot of change and, uh, and healthcare reform has to be dynamic because everything around us is changing very, very quickly and uh, to keep up with quality, which I've always described as a moving target, we need to change the system to achieve the outcomes that our patients are looking for. What do you hope to learn or teach uh, this year at the conference? Well, I've, it's always learning wherever I go, so uh, I, I'm sure I'll pick up many things from this meeting. Uh, as far as teaching, I'm actually contributing to a couple of talks here. Uh, it's not a teaching formally, it's more of an exchange of ideas and knowledge. Thank you very much. Thank you. It was a pleasure speaking with you. Thank you.